Hi guys, it's Barbara with Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. This is an all Cancerian channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you're looking for other placements, please check out my main channel, Quartz Rose Tarot. The link is in the description box below. If you're looking for my information to book a personal reading or our tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot, it's on sale 35% off. The link for the Etsy store is also below. And if you're looking for the extended, you'll find it below. So let's get into this. Let's get into this for Cancer. Okay, if you're dealing with a fire sign, the answer is yes. Aries, Leo, or Sag. You may have a masculine energy, maybe an Aries, Leo, or Sag coming towards you, Cancer. Let's get into this with a gift. They may be bringing you a gift of some sort. Um, let's get into this all 12 signs starting with Aries one more okay if you're dealing with an Aries hmm. they're mastering their emotions about you and another person so it's between you and a queen of swords If you're dealing with a Taurus, um, I feel like using your intuition is going to illuminate something. Use your intuition, it's going to illuminate something. If you're dealing with a Gemini, um, they may be in love with a Aries Leo Sag. If you're dealing with another Cancer, it's almost like they're working on a tower moment. Whether they're trying to work on the tower to build it, make it, trying to shore it up a little bit, could be working on a tower. If you're dealing with a Leo, they're manifesting at a crossroads. I feel like this person. They may either be at, they could be at a crossroads about doing some magic as well. Um, take it out resonates with you. Okay. If you're dealing with a Virgo. They're obsessed with being a player. This person's there for a good time, not a long time. If you're dealing with a Libra. They're doing some soul searching about a commitment. If you're dealing with a Scorpio. They're watching somebody and they're kind of having sleepless nights about it. Something they're seeing is causing them to have sleepless nights. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they're waiting for communication. If you're dealing with a Capricorn. They want to be with you, but there's a lot of mind games and manipulation going on. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they need the strength to cut somebody out. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, mm, they're looking back at a past mistake where they may have betrayed you. So let's get into this cancer. So you may be dealing with a fire sign here. Aries, Leo, or a Sag. And there's a gift here. Somebody's going to be bringing you a gift. Okay. So you could be juggling a betrayal. Could be back and forth about a betrayal. You're trying to move on from a uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. There you are, Cancer. Yeah. 
you're walking away. Somebody may have cheated on you. So you're moving on from this other water sign. You're walking away, going towards your emperor. This is like you going towards an emperor here. King of Wands. Yep. New beginning in love, but you may be at a crossroads about the King of Swords. Is he being strategic? Is It's almost like, um, I feel like for you, you're leaving one situation and you're wondering, will it be the same with this other person? So you may have walked away from a water sign. I don't feel like you're going from one to the other, but you may have walked away from the water sign and, and headed towards the fire sign, but you're feeling like, is it going to be the same as it was before? So what's the problem? How's it coming towards cancer? Hmm. You're going to find out a sudden, suddenly something's going to be cut off very suddenly. Sudden removal. You learn something. Well, that sudden removal could have been from the water sign. You learned a lesson there, though, for sure. They're saying, let's go. Let's go. The, your guides don't want you staying in that stagnant energy. You learned a lesson. Okay, move on from it. Let's go. They're like, pr they're pushing you. They're pushing you in a direction. So, you know, it's like there's a relationship where there was deception here. You're trying to find some peace and balance. You're obsessed with discontent uh, about having a new, you don't want it. You're at a crossroads. See, this is why your guides are pushing you. They're pushing you in the right direction. They're saying, let's go. Don't sit there and wallow in that negative energy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Obsessed with discontent because somebody cheated on you. And, you know, you have a relationship you need to get to. You're on to the next. It's an another lesson. They're pushing you. It's like, get up. You don't have time to rest and cry about this. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> They're protecting your wish fulfillment. They're protecting your best interest here, right? They're working on it. They're like, they're trying to get you from square, from, uh, Point A to point B, right? And this is like, it's almost like you're back and forth about whether or not you want to take this leap. Okay. Cancer, your guides are telling you just because this person cheated on you, um, they don't want you wallowing in self-pity. They don't want you feeling stuck. You're missing an opportunity and they don't want you to miss this opportunity, but you're back and forth about whether or not you want to take this leap because you feel like there's a third party that might just interfere, you know, um, offering betrayal. There's another third party offering betrayal, same old shit, different day. That's kind of where you're at with this. You feel like there's a same old shit, different day. Something suddenly ended. Now your guides are saying, let's go, get up, move it. <laughs> Tell me about the outcome for cancer. So you've gained a lot of, you've, you've learned a lot. You've gained a lot of wisdom out of this situation. See your guardians. This is about your guardians watching you, watching you. And you've learned some valuable lessons. You've gained some wisdom here. They see that you've gained the wisdom that you need to go to the next level. So tell me what's, what's the outcome for cancer?
This is manifesting a partner. But they don't want you trapped in your head about the betrayal. Right? They want you to have something long-term and committed. You need to make this decision. You may be obsessed with somebody from the past. A past relationship. Waiting for communication. Empress energy. I feel like they're protecting you. They're guarding you. Your guides are there. They're, I mean, they're guarding your love. They're guarding this. They're protecting it. You got the Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. You may have strong emotions. You're trapped in your head about there being a tower moment. Again, this is your own doubt. You want to be with them, but you don't want the mind games and manipulation. Because you see things from a different perspective and you want a victory. I feel here they come to rebuild. Here they come. They're looking back at their past mistakes and all of the drama. They've closed out that cycle for this relationship. It's time. So you both are being guided in the right direction at the same time. In other words, you know, your guides are saying, okay, you're done with that. Move on to this because the two of you are meant to be together right now. So things are happening the way they're meant to happen, guys, because your guardians are in, in charge right now. They're pushing you. They're protecting you. They're protecting this new beginning. So just know, don't doubt it. Just go with the flow because they got their eye on you. They got their eye on you, your guardians. You've gained a lot of wisdom. So they've already know. Maybe you've learned all your lessons. So guys, that is all I have for you. If that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a blessed week.